Hi, this is Mike from SwimX. Today we'll be going over wiring your gear motor. All of our motors will have a decal on them. The decal will give you their electrical characteristics as well as their horsepower rating. In this particular example, uh, we have a 5 horsepower gear motor and um, it's give, giving us voltage specs for 208, 240 as well as 408. This decal also provides the wiring diagram for the gear motor and you'll notice there's a low voltage diagram as well as a high voltage diagram. For our SwimX application, we'll be using the low voltage diagram. So the first step of the process is to go ahead and remove the cover off the junction box. You want to remove the four hex bolts. And go ahead and set aside the cover. And when you check the wiring, you'll see that there's a total of 11 wires in the gear motor. Um, Two of those are orange wires, and those are for a thermocouple application. We don't use that, so we just tie those two together and then seal them with a wire nut. And go ahead and put that back in the junction box. Okay, now we got our nine yellow wires. They're all labeled uh, T1 through T9. Uh, you'll see the labeling right on them. The key thing with these is you want to go ahead and take a look at your uh, T6 and T9, just to be safe. Uh, T6 will actually have the horizontal line under the 6, and then for comparison, let's call up number 9. There's 9 right there. Uh, that's how you differentiate 6 and 9. You don't want to cross those two. Okay, so for our application, again, we're going to be using the low voltage schematic, uh, which means we're going to be uh, running 208 to 240 volts to this unit. So in that uh, sense we want to wire per that low voltage schematic. So what we first want to find is we're going to have three hot legs coming from our AC Tech controller. Those three hot legs are going to be carrying our voltage and our first connection is going to be to T1 and T7. So we want to locate both of those T1, T7 and you'd go ahead and combine those two together And then this combination will go to one of the three hot legs coming from the AC Tech controller. Okay, next, uh, the second hot leg, we want to find wire 2 and 8. So I got T2 and T8. We're going to tie those two together. And then that'll go to the second hot leg coming from the AC Tech controller. Next, we'll grab T3 and T9. Those two will get tied together. And you'll go ahead and run your third hot leg from the AC Tech controller to 3 and 9. Okay, and then that would leave wires 4, 5, and 6 uh, left over. Uh, we actually don't use wire 4, 5, and 6 uh, in the low voltage application. So we're just going to go ahead and take all three We'll go ahead and tie those all together. Seal it with a wire nut. It's got no connection to the AC Tech controller. And the last connection, you'll also have a ground wire that's running from your AC Tech controller to the gear motor. You just want to go ahead and connect that to the ground lug inside. 